you look at that? Ford versus Chevy, big versus small, four-speed versus automatic, Viagra versus Cialis. 1969 Chevrolet Yenko Camaro, and this thing is about as nasty as a gas station hot dog. <laughs> We're talking about an L72, that means a 427 cubic inch V8 with four bolt mains, solid lifter cam, forged cranking rods, aluminum intake manifold, Compression ratio, 11 to 1. And Yenko rated these monsters at 450 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. A four-speed manual was available in the Yenko Camaro, but this one has a slightly more drag race friendly Turbo 400 three-speed automatic transmission. 410 gears were standard in the Yenko Camaro, but this one has a slight upgrade and now features 433 rear gears. I love the smell of valve float in the morning. I'm just kidding, this car will handle it just fine. Camaros are light cars. Big block Camaros, eh, not quite as much. This car with driver weighs in at 3,696 pounds. How many Yenko Camaros do you think they made in 1969 with an automatic transmission? Did you say 30? I guess you're not as stupid as you look. <laughs> Superstock Magazine tested a Yanko Camaro in July of 1969, and with a set of headers, it ran the quarter mile in 12.59 seconds at 108.07 miles per hour. Yanko Camaro? <laughs> More like, make me want a Yanko. <laughs> 1970 Ford Torino. Super Cobra Jet. It's a snake. <laughs> and this thing makes my Cobra want a jet. <laughs> Being a Super Cobra Jet, we're talking a 429 cubic inch V8 with a compression ratio of 11.3 to 1. And this beast was rated 375 horsepower and 450 pound-feet of torque. Welcome to the jungle, the Ford jungle. If you think it doesn't get any better, well, you're a dumb f because if you take a look inside, this thing's got a four-speed manual transmission. Outback is a not-so-highway-friendly set of 457 gears, and if you did take this thing on the highway, I bet it's a screamer. And I love screamers. Ice creamers. <laughs> Virginity is cool. Come on, come on. As I'm sure you've already noticed, this car is rather large. And with driver, this thing weighs in at 4,108 pounds. And so it's what I would call a BFC. A big f***ing car. How many Torino Super Cobra Jets do you think they made in 1970 with a four-speed? Did you say 130? <laughs> Idiot, it was 129. <laughs> Motor Trend Magazine tested a Torino Super Cobra Jet in February of 1970. With a set of 391 gears and a four-speed manual transmission, it ran the quarter mile in 13.99 seconds at 101 miles per hour. Obviously, this one's going to be quicker, you guys. Let's check it out. At the time of filming, the temperature was 61 degrees, humidity 26%, elevation 754 feet, and the barometric pressure was 29.48 inches. This was a single heads up time trial race, so let's see who takes home the win. The Torino was able to take an early lead, but the Camaro came back for the win, running 12 seconds even at 115.53 miles per hour. In the other lane, the Torino looked good, but not quite good enough for the win, running 12.72 seconds at 108.83 miles per hour. And since this was a single heads-up time trial race, that's all you get. See you guys at the next one. <laughs>